In this video, I'm going to be covering some of the greatest myths in the wine industry and probably spark some controversy with this video too. But these are some of the beliefs about wine that we have to get down to. And if you've ever found yourself believing one of these myths, do give this video a thumbs up and let's get right to it. Myth number one, all wine gets better with age. This is such a controversial topic and it has so many elements to it that I actually would love to dedicate an entire video to it. But first and foremost, not all wine gets better with age. A lot of wine, especially in the most recent years, are made to be consumed within a year or five. These wines are not made to age and will not get better with time. In the past, wine was made with incredible levels of tannin and acidity, which helped preserve the wine and allowed it to age for decades. But this meant that the wine was often undrinkable within the first couple of years. The second thing to consider about an aged wine is your personal preference. Let's say you do find a beautiful Bordeaux that was aged for 20 odd years. Yes, the wine has definitely been made to age, but it doesn't necessarily mean it fits your palate. Many wines that have been aged for so long no longer have that vibrancy of the fruit and the acidity. These flavors are extremely mature and the wine has a real earthiness and meatiness to it. So although properly aged wine can be delightful, it depends on whether you enjoy those mature flavors or not. Myth number two, screw cup wines are all plonk. This is probably one of the biggest wine debates currently going on and will continue to be a debate for quite a long time. And both parties have very stern beliefs regarding screw caps versus corks. But if you look at the facts, screw caps does not necessarily mean it's low quality wine. This again ties in with the aging of wine. So corks were specifically used to allow tiny amounts of oxygen into the wine, which is what softens the wine and allowed the flavors to mature with age. But considering the fact that most of these wines aren't made to be aged for decades anymore, this is no longer necessary, so screw caps work perfectly. This is especially true if you see how the screw cap designs have dramatically improved over the years. In many ways, a screw cap is superior to cork in the sense that it seals better, it stores better, and it cannot be affected by cork taint. If you're not sure what cork taint is, check out my video on wine faults. And if you want to go more in depth about the cork versus screw cap debate, check out my other video. Myth number three, putting a teaspoon into your open bottle of sparkling wine will preserve its bubbles. I wish this was true because I had done it so many times in my life and I'm still tempted to. It all started with the idea that putting a spoon into an open bottle and putting that bottle in the fridge will slow down bubbles escaping. The idea was that the teaspoon would become really cold and prevent the gas bubbles from passing past the spoon. However, after a lot of testing, this method was busted and it is indeed just a myth. Myth number four, the longer the wine tears, the better the wine. You know when you swirl a glass and you have those thick lines of wine running down the side of the glass? Have you ever been told that the slower those tears run down the glass, the better the wine quality? I'm sorry to say, but these tears or legs are not an indication of the wine's quality. These tears are a result of the sugar and the alcohol content of the wine. Think of it like syrup. The more sugar is present in the syrup, the slower it's going to run down the glass. And it's the same with wine. The higher the sugar content, the thicker and slower it will ooze down the glass. So basically, the tears are just telling you that there's higher amounts of sugar in the wine. Myth number five, white wine can't age. This is a very common myth, and I find it's especially true in South Africa. Many individuals think that white wine should be consumed within the year of its harvesting, and the moment it's aged more than that, it's no longer tasty. This is false. And you will find just like red wine, the flavors and the aromas of white wine can develop and will change with time. There are a few wines, however, that shouldn't be aged for three or four years, but it depends on the variety and how the wine was made. For instance, some Rieslings in Australia are terrible within the first five years, and it only really starts to taste like anything after about a decade of aging. And this is because the grapes are picked when they are barely ripe, which means the wine has tons of acidity and no real flavor yet, but slowly develops within the bottle. Other white wines, especially when they've been matured in oak barrels, are capable of aging for years and years and only truly show their beautiful aromas with time. So if you ever have the chance to try an aged white wine, don't immediately assume that it's going to taste like vinegar. White wine has just as much aging potential as red wine when it's done correctly. And if you can think of any other myths worth mentioning, leave it in the comments below and I'll make a part two of this series. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more wine lessons and more shenanigans. And thanks for watching.